Good morning. Happy Monday. It feels like to us, we repeat ourselves over and over again, like, geez, we gotta come up with something new. And then I get a question from a seasoned agent, good agent, doing really awesome, who asks these questions. I think, geez, we've gone over this so many, so many times. times. How, how do you not know that we have some of these tools, what our opinions are, whether or not this works, and... Then we realize. <laughs> Just because we say it over and over doesn't mean that the 300 agents that we have are tuning in when we decide to say it or that you're at a place in your own business where you're able to take it in. Exactly. And that's, I think that's more than anything is everyone's in a different place in their business mm -hmm. cycle where they're like, oh, I want to add this to my business or, oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed with just trying to figure out how to write a contract and the last thing I want to do is think about my next contract and my next transaction and building a business. I'm just trying to do the business. Yeah. Just trying to figure out how to, yeah, service my client and fill in the blanks on my contracts. But to get to the next transaction, you got to be building your business while you're working on your business at yes. the same time. And it's hard to do. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're going to talk about today are just some simple things to implement into your business mm -hmm. that you need to put on a easy system, an easy tickler. This is just part of what I do when I take a listing or on a monthly basis or mm -hmm. somehow into your world. So it's consistent. Not, yeah. I do it the first quarter and I don't do it until I'm doing end of your business planning and go, oh, I've forgotten to do these marketing things. Yeah, and, and these are tried and true. They were. And top, 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 top producers do this systematically. And most of them have someone who is doing it for them. Yeah. But in the beginning, if you're just getting going, or you don't have that many transactions, mm -hmm. you can do this on right. your own, but you must do these things. Yes. And, and these are, again, not like, oh my gosh, that's They're amazing. They're nothing new. Yeah, I no. mean, I think all of it is amazing. It's, mean, well, it's, it's amazing, yeah, but, but it's, it's not nothing like, new. It's not like this just came no. out in 2022, you've all got to grasp this, con no. No, but the thing is, I bet less than 10% of the agents do these few things consistently. And we're not talking equity agents. We're talking about industry and... Across general. the board. Yeah. Across the board because you guys get busy, frantic, working on the transaction and you mm -hmm. forget the basics. Yeah. And, and it doesn't matter if you're running one transaction or five transactions. We all get busy. Yeah. But we're going to dive into this in a second. If you do these things, comment and say, yes, yes, this, this works, guys. It, it, it helps to hear from your fellow agent. Yes, these things work. Versus just us telling you time and time again that it does work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And again, we feel like we're telling you time and time again. But if this is the first time you're like, oh, I didn't even know. I mean, mm -hmm. really, I had a conversation with a really good agent of ours the other day. And he was blown away by the things that I'm going to show you today. Like, this is awesome. How come I didn't know about yeah. this? I mean, he's been with us for six years because you get tied up doing all the other little things. And there's so many things you can be doing in this business that sometimes you miss some of these basics yeah. that are and again, we might mention business it, changing. We might mention it in a sales meeting or a Monday talk, and that just happens to be the one that you missed that week, yeah. and we don't revisit it for another six months. So yeah, so, here we are. Here we are. So what are we talking about? <laughs> All right. So we're going to talk about effective marketing strategies to build your business. Um, and I think we'll do. We want to start off with. Let's start off with these marketing materials right here. Let's, let's talk about just list or just sold postcards because we are actually getting quite a few people with questions on are just listed just sold postcards actually effective or are they a waste of money? Yeah. Why would I do it? Why would I do it? What are the benefits? My listing sold so fast. Why would I do it? Why should I do it? Yeah. So let's talk about that. 
Just listed, just sold postcards, in our opinion, are one of the number one marketing tools you should leverage. I think it's the best. I think it's the number one tool. Yeah. Now, if, obviously, if you don't have any listings or any buyers or anything like that, then there might be a couple of other things that are better. But when you take a listing, I know how excited you are. Your first listing, you're ecstatic. You your get 30th put, listing, you're yeah, you're, ecstatic. We're always, <laughs> listings like, are the name of the game. Especially in this market when you're driving around buyers writing millions of offers, getting yeah. a listing is just so exciting. Putting that sign in the front yard with your name on it. Someone has chosen you. Make sure your name is on it. Don't just use the equity generic sign. Make sure you get the sign mm -hmm. writer, okay? I know, and it I know your you're like, it's gonna sell in three days. We want you to market yourself. So generic sign, get the sign writer. This might be a oh, Yeah, for and someone. when Todd says sign writer, it's your name and your phone number. Yes. Um, so in addition to the call capture that they can call and get information from the sign, they can actually call you directly. And we want you self-promoting so that when cars drive by, they associate your name with the sign. Your sign's going to be, the, it might go under contract in three days, but it's going to be up there for a month plus. Days. And that is the best advertising as a sign. So while you're there in the neighborhood, and this could be a neighborhood that you work a lot, that's you know close by, or you've never done a transaction, it doesn't matter. Because people say, shall I farm an area? You bet, farm an area where you're working. Mm -hmm. Not where you wanna work, but where you're working. Where if you're you have working. a sign in that neighborhood, go farm it. And what I mean by that is, send out just listed postcards, okay? People are driving by your sign, mm -hmm. and I will guarantee, type it in. When your sign goes up, within a week or two, you're gonna see one to two other signs go up without fail. Yep, happens every time. Happens every time. Why not have it be your name? Yeah, because most likely the people that are driving past your sign have been thinking, we wanna put our house on the market, we've been prepping, maybe we're dragging our feet. This triggers them, let's get going. People are putting their houses up for sale. Now, if they don't have a realtor they're already connected with and working with, you want them to call you. And what better way to represent who you are and what you do for your clients and how professional and top notch you are than to send out a beautiful jumbo jumbo postcard. big 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 not big. the little tiny five inch oh. postcards the really really big ones this is those stand out in a mailbox high quality high class okay and you can write something back here about the property and maybe put in a little testimonial about you okay this is your marketing piece so who do i send this to you can get a list from your favorite title company or what I recommend. These postcards are made by Color Productive. It's the number one print marketing company in Colorado for real estate. We have a great deal for you with them. Troy's a friend of mine. Yeah, Troy Lucero, owner of Color Productive. He, uh, he does all the stuff for Sotheby's, all the stuff for Coldwell Banker Previews, and all of it for us at a better price than those companies because they make money off of Troy. I don't make money off Troy. I give you guys his deal. So go on to Elevate mm -hmm. and we've got the marketing tab that takes you to Breakthrough Broker and next to that tab we have Print, print marketing. marketing. Print Marketing on Elevate. It takes you to Color Productive. And you'll come up with a little username and password and sign in, set up your little account. Or if you're like, oh, I don't like accounts, I don't... Call him. His number's there. We just had one of our agents. I said, just call him. He'll... Get you going. Texted me like half hour later. Oh my God, Troy's amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is. And these are great. So... so Beautiful, just listed <laughs> postcards. Who are we sending them to? Not 500 people. Oh, no. Don't know. That's not the best use of your money. I would pick 75, 100 homes, and you do this every time. So you'll set this up with Troy and say, hey Troy, when I take a listing, I want these going out to the nearest 
50, 75, 100 homes in that neighborhood. And yes. you and Troy will figure out how to do this and he'll make it to a clockwork. It just, he sees it going to the MLS, he'll just automatically do it, set it up with Troy. Yep. Figure that out. Then you don't have to do address labels and pick up print stuff and put them in the mail. But the really cool thing about this psychologically is you've got homeowners driving past your sign. All of a sudden, they get a just listed postcard in the mail and they start seeing your name more often and they're thinking, oh my gosh, Jane is doing a lot of business in this neighborhood. Yep. Because they start seeing your signs or they start seeing your name in multiple locations, but they can't pinpoint they don't exactly know where, where they saw it. Yeah. It, it's just, did I see an ad? Oh my gosh, she's yeah. listed multiple houses. No, she listed one and she sent you a postcard and now you've seen her name twice. Yep. Also though, this, do not miss this part. Your sphere of influence. Key. This is better than your monthly newsletter. This is better than your Homes by Design magazine. This is better than your free coupon. Your, or your recipe cards. Or your recipe cards. Or your Rocky schedule. I know you guys love them and your Bronco schedules. They're great. Yep. But this is better. Your sphere of influence. And I mean everyone. Mom, dad, brother, sister, best cousin, friend. best friends, doctor, everyone. Everyone. So this might be 200 people. They get one of these every, every time you take a listing. I'm, yep. Again, I don't care if this is only on the market for three days. That's why you have to set this up as a system. Yep. Otherwise, you're going to, oh, it already. Mm -hmm. This is not, this is not about selling the property. Maybe a little bit. But mainly, this is about showing success. Yep. Your friends, family, neighbors, sphere, do not know if you're successful. They we, know you're in the they industry. Know you're in but... What are what are you doing in the are, industry? Are you, are you are you selling stuff? Is it are, are you busy? Are you doing well? And what are you doing? Are you doing quality work? Yeah. And when you list a property, you're demonstrating that someone has trusted in you. Yep. And that trust spreads throughout your sphere. It, it is the best thing you can do to keep your name in front of your sphere. Mm -hmm. So when they're thinking or they hear of someone else, more important, they hear of someone else thinking of buying or selling, they recommend you. Yeah, and again, like Todd said, you aren't sending out this postcard because you're trying to sell the house. So if your objection is I'm not sending it because by the time it hits their mailboxes, it will already be sold, you're missing the point. Yeah, and again, great question. It just popped up on my screen. So if I'm missing any of yours, how do you get it in their mailbox before it goes under contract? It you doesn't probably matter. Won't. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. matter. Okay, this this is not, like we just said, about selling the property. And if it's under contract, we'll take backup offers. There's nothing illegal about sending something that out that says, I just listed. It doesn't say, come buy me today. Mm -hmm. I'm still available. It says, I just listed. Yeah, but that's Send, a great question. Yeah, good question. Yeah. Send it out. And the other thing, we're trying to create habits and routines so that as the market does shift and it starts to normalize, you've already got these systems in place. So when a house does sit on the market for 30, 45, 60 days, which it's hard to believe that will ever happen, but it, it will. will happen, then these will be used multifacet for promoting yourself and for actually trying to sell the property. But right now, the main thing is self-promotion, showing success, and reaching not only your sphere, but the neighbors in the neighborhood who might also be thinking of selling. Yeah. But set up a system with Troy to make it quick and easy and painless. So it goes out as soon as possible, but don't not send it out because you're so busy. So, yeah. Yeah. And maybe you listed a property two weeks ago and it's already been in a contract for a week. Go ahead and make a just listed Still card, do it. card and send it out. Also, a great piece for when you're sitting down and doing a listing presentation. Again, there will be a day in the not too distant future when properties are not sitting or are sitting longer than three days. <laughs> then one weekend. Yeah. And when you're up against your competition and you have these beautiful pieces of, this is what I do for my clients. I send these to my sphere of influence. I send these to the surrounding neighbors. And they say, well, why do you do that? Well, you probably like your neighborhood and other people in your neighborhood probably like where they live. And so when they see that you just put this home on the market, 
they might hand that out to a friend or someone who's been saying, Jesus, if anything comes available in your home. In your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. We'd love to live there. Yeah. And they're like, oh, that's, oh, that's a nice, there's a marketing piece, a reason to list with you. So it's a really nice listing presentation. Yeah. So the other thing, if you even want to up your game that much more, and then we'll circle back around and talk about the just sold portion yes. of the just listed. Um, if you're working, maybe, you know, some people, some of you guys have called in um, and emailed us saying, hey, we'd like some luxury marketing tools. Um, this is one of these like open up type of postcard brochures. And it has a back as well. Really pretty picture. And it goes out in a silver envelope. So classy. So you can use this as a just listed as well and send this just to the sur a few surrounding houses. I mean, I probably wouldn't even send 100 of these things. No, send it up to 50. But again. Send it up to 50 of your top people in your sphere and then send this one out to the rest. Always your entire sphere gets this. Yeah. But maybe segregate how much you want to spend. You guys are taking listings at $800,000. At 3%, we'll make it an easy number. At 3%, that's a $24,000 commission. Mm -hmm. Spend some money on marketing and go get another $800,000 listing and get another $24,000. Exactly. And so this will help differentiate you from your competition. What are the things that you do above and beyond? Even in a market where houses are selling really quickly, you're still investing in marketing materials and in your, in your clients. So this is a cool piece. I really like this one a lot. So lots of room for filters. Yeah. Then, and, and you can say just listed, or I used to send to my sphere of influence, maybe this goes out to the neighborhood that says just listed, and Troy can do this, mm -hmm. and maybe the other one says, do you know a buyer? I love that one. That's what I would put on mine. I said, do you know a buyer? And I'd send that to my sphere of influence because I would get phone calls from friends going, Todd, I can't afford that. Why are you sending that to me? And I'm like, oh. It said just listed. I'm like, well, this isn't of interest to me. But do you know if you put, do you know a buyer? They're like, oh, Todd's sending this out to me because maybe I know somebody. He thinks I'm well connected, which all of your friends are well connected. Yeah. So the other thing that I really change like, change it up a little bit. If you're sending it to the neighborhood, what I put on mine is pick your neighbor. Oh, yeah, that's a good so one. So that's a good, rather than just listed, pick your neighbor. And then they're like, oh, Yes, we want a good person living in the neighborhood, you know, a, a street over. I'm going to send this to so-and-so who just told me that they were looking in the neighborhood. But yeah, pick your neighbor. That's kind of a fun one. So, just listed, beautiful marketing pieces, color productive, on elevate, print marketing. Yep. Just click the button. And again, <laughs> Troy Lucero owns it. It's the number one print company in Colorado for real estate. And again, he does Sotheby's and Kentwood and Equity. And we don't make any money on this. All those other companies? They price it. They take, premium yeah, and they, they get a kickback. I just want you guys doing nice it. stuff and building your businesses. So, I love that uh, D. Ellis says, one of the reasons I chose Equity, I love the classy marketing. Thank you. Thank you, D. I love this. this. And when I hear people go, oh, I didn't, I was like, I'm not doing a good job telling you guys about this because I will guarantee if you do this and do it consistently, you will add another 50 grand to your income mm -hmm. every year by just sending out just listed postcards. Then when it sells and yeah, this and closes. Might, and closes and closes, you send a just sold. Yeah. So you're hitting everyone with a just listed and then four weeks later, you're hitting them with that just sold. And why? I mean, you're like, well, why do I need to tell the neighbors that it's sold? You're showing success and maybe, so just sold. Are you thinking of selling? Mm-hmm. You know? And plus, you know, the neighbors. How, they're curious. They're curious. I wonder what that house actually sold for. Do you ever hear that? I hear that all the time. Do you know what that house sold for down the street? They know it was listed at X price. They can go on the internet and see that. But oftentimes they don't have the time to follow up and see what it actually closed for. So you're giving them valuable information about their own neighborhood. And your sphere, you're showing success. And they're getting it. Again, this is your email newsletters, your email drip campaigns. You're at, at 20 to 1, better bang for your buck. Yeah. 
And you still want to have those. Oh, you got to have that stuff. And those automatic drip things. Those yep. are still good to have. But don't think that you're going to run your entire business off of that only. I will guarantee you will get more business by sending these things out. Yeah. Just sold. Send that to your sphere of influence. Yep. You have no listings right now today, but you just sold something. Yeah. Don't wait till your next sale. You can do this today. Yes. Yeah. So you can do this with your buyers. When your buyer, it doesn't have to, you don't have to wait till you get a listing. Do yeah. this with your buyer sales. All of you are working with buyers right now. So yeah, when those close, do your just sold postcard. So neighborhood, 50 to 100. Mm -hmm. Sphere of influence. Just listed, just sold. Just listed, just sold. Yes. Just listed, just sold. Over and over and over again. If you do an open house, we see those occasionally. Yeah. Send a just listed and an open house invitation. following an invitation to the neighborhood. Who comes to the open house? We know that the neighbors. So why not invite them? Yeah. That feels why not make special. them feel like they don't have to come sneaking in and, and snooping and say, come on in, snoop. Because yeah. you like the neighborhood, you might know someone, invite them. And again, it's a great opportunity to get in front of people and meet people. Yeah, and you can strategically launch your listings so that you have an opportunity to hold an open house because it is great for marketing and you might meet some buyers and you might actually sell the house yourself. Um, but launching a listing on a Thursday, starting showings on a Friday, accepting offers Saturday and Sunday with the seller making a decision either Sunday night or Monday, that gives you Saturday and Sunday to not only collect up offers, but to get it out to the broadest amount of people you hosting the open house. I think we've beaten That's that true. one. I just can't. I know. Sorry, we when just I hear people for 20 aren't minutes doing about this. this, it's like, ah, do it. Do it. It works. Trust me. Someone's going to ask the question. Oh, go ahead. Should I have a farm area? I don't have a listing. Should I just send like 500 of these out to a neighborhood that I'd like to work in? No. 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 Farm areas work, but there's a long, long term, lots of investment, lots of money. And maybe want... one of these days we'll do a segment on yeah. farming specifically because I, we can give you tips on how it works, but I'd say it's not a strong use of your time. No. Just stick to these. Stick to these. Yep. Farm the areas where you have a sign up. Otherwise, you're just another agent sending out more postcards and nobody's ever heard of you and they've never seen success. The success is that they've seen your listing sign. Yep. That's the piggyback. Piggyback yep. on that sign. Yep, exactly. I was going to say something and I forgot. No. That's okay. We'll come back to it. <laughs> One other thing. Nice little picture of this gal. Jane Smith. Yeah. You got all these fun little presentations. So you're going to your listing presentation and you're going to show the client what you'll do for them. This I love. These are home books. These are amazing. It. They're kind of awkward to show on TV or on the Facebook Live. But yeah, these huge, beautiful, spiral ground, really thick paper. You can write about the house and then include a bunch of photos, information about the neighborhood, information about the schools. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really, really pretty piece. What you can do, work on your listing presentation. While I'm talking about this great marketing, let's say you don't have a listing, you don't have a buyer, you just got going into doing this. Call Troy up mm -hmm. and say, Troy, I want my picture on this. This is just an example. Yeah. You can take this to a listing presentation with these beautiful pictures of just a generic home and say, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Seller. These are the things that I will do for marketing your home. But you want your picture on this stuff. You don't want Jane Smith. So yeah, you can order. You can order these. It's not expensive. I don't remember. I don't even care what it is. 50 bucks. I don't even But yeah, know. you can order. I think they come in packs of five. I think so. And so yeah, you order five example kits with the generic house on it, but your name, your photo, your phone number, Make your it custom. email. And it's customized. So. And then you have a listing presentation. And you keep this in your car. And anytime you meet with some, an open house, you can have this sitting in an open house, but get it customized. For yeah. things that you do, some people don't go. Troy is Jane. super fast too. Um, yeah, Carrie. I see. Carrie has that question of like, how should, fast should you order? He's on it. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you literally, if you know you're taking a listing a week in advance, you can call him and say, "We're launching on Thursday X date. 
can we go ahead and get the ball rolling as soon as I have photography I'm going to send you the pictures you're going to you know develop everything and you can tell them what day you want to launch stuff um, and if you don't know you have a listing coming up and it's literally the seller calls you you go list the property that day you get photography I mean he can turn things around quick but if you give him advance notice he'll just set it so it's ready to go out yeah okay our next We'll get you, Chris. I can't read the whole thing of your comment, Crystal. So we can see your comments on our <laughs> screen in front of us, yeah. but we'll we'll, we'll, come, we'll circle back. We'll circle, to you. circle back and answer all the questions. Don't want you to think that we're skipping you. So um, the other piece that we love, and I feel like we've talked about this multiple times. I know, but it's, but it's still new really because have. people go, "Oh, really?" Home so. by Design Magazine. I love this thing. This is probably our uh, behind just listed just sold postcards this is our next favorite marketing tool out of everything we've ever tried in our career yeah so this is a 52 page magazine that is put together and it's mailed out every other month so six times a year you can customize the inside front cover which this one uh, for this particular issue that just went out four weeks ago I put in the top seven renovation mistakes that homeowners make. And so that's um, what's on the inside cover when they open it up. It's branded at the bottom with our name, our phone number, our email address, our photo, and then each page inside that we have customized also has our name, phone number, and email. Um, I have Own Home Loans is my preferred lender for my clients. So I advertise and co-brand with Amir Razi. He's amazing. If you haven't talked to Amir, give him a call. And he um, might even help pay for some of your Potentially, costs. yeah. Talk to him. Yeah, yeah, talk to him. So, And it's great because I have a lot of clients that um, want to get pre-approved before they even call me. So they'll call Amir first. And then we'll make the segue into buying or selling or refinancing even. Um, so that's really handy. The other things that we have done on the inside is we wrote a little article just about equity. Who is equity? And thought that that was really beneficial for our clients to know who we are and what we do. So that was kind of neat. And then the article on the back, the mortgage article changes every single month or every single issue. Uh, so this one was what determines the interest rate you qualify for. That was kind of neat. I've written letters inside these magazines, I've customized letters for the client. Maybe I've had something that I wanted to tell our sphere, we appreciate them. Um, maybe I've wanted to promote a handyman or a furnace repair guy. Um, we've done planting tips, we've done neighborhood articles where we focus in on specific neighborhoods in each issue. Um, we've done a lot of different stuff. Be creative. They will do it for you and just have the generic, but up your game. Spend the time, come up with some ideas that make it personal so that your sphere, and this is for your sphere, so that they feel it's coming from you. And what's funny is when we first started this, literally, my mother, your grandparents, they thought we were actually designing the whole magazine. Yeah. They're like, you guys started doing magazines? You're making magazines? You're, you're, do you have a publishing company now? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah. But it felt so customized. customized. Yeah. And again, the main thing is get it done. So if you just want them to go with the generic, great. But take the extra time. And you might have to hire someone that has some marketing skills to make the fun pictures and pretty things. Yeah, like for But example, you come up with ideas and have on the <laughs> your son or daughter who's good with uh, Adobe or something like that, do the layout. Um, but the best. Yeah, you can hire graphic designers. Well, we just, got, we just had a client. Not even a client. It was a neighbor of ours. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, we not even a client. Story. Yeah, we've, we've never done a transaction with this gentleman before. Mm -hmm. He was our next door neighbor. Next door neighbor. And not even that close. I mean. Oh, just like friendly. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? You know, wave at him. We never went out and did anything before. Um, and I just emailed. That was last, last week. Uh, found her email and said, hey, I'm thinking selling my house. And we might be wanting to buy a house in Vegas. And getting a house up in the mountains or looking at buying two houses or maybe another house in, in Golden. He's not sure what he wants to do. But we're talking about a $3 million worth of business. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, how, how did you, so, how yeah. did you find us? He's we did like, a phone call with him, a Zoom meeting. And we're like, so thanks so much for you know trusting us. How would you yeah, find us? And they're on our mailing list. And he says, well, 
your face sits on my yeah. coffee table every day. So you were easy to find. <laughs> he gets our magazine. So make and, sure your neighbors are getting the magazine. You don't yeah. know who's going to give you a call. At yeah. That. And I hear time and time again, it's kind of funny because um, they do have all kinds of real estate articles. It's, you know, things in Europe, things in, you know, in the U.S. They've got all kinds of different design ideas and really cool articles. But I would tell you, if I took a poll for all the people that we send this to, what's their favorite part of the magazine? The recipes. They do like the recipe. And I mean, make fun I, of people doing sending out recipe cards, but they do like the recipe. And our next door neighbor even commented on that. He's like, I love this magazine. I open it up, and the first thing I go to is the recipes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. a classy way to send recipes. We've never done business. He, he knows that we do good business. Uh, he knows the areas that we work in just because we do mailings and things like that. Uh, but there's a lot of realtors in our neighborhood that he could have called. Specialize. And he called us. Yeah. So, so your face is always directly on the coffee from, table. <laughs> yeah, it was right there in front of him. Yeah, so that was kind of fun. So you can get this information, Homes by Design, um, from the vendor list right here on Facebook. Yep. Click the Files button if you've never done that. So click files and yeah. look at Yeah, and what I can do list. is after the live is done, I will go into the comment section and I'll put our rep's name and phone number. It's Jody um, with Home by Design Publishing. She's fantastic. The order minimum is 30 magazines. Um, we send just a little over 100. I mean, these are our A, A plus, B plus clients um, and family and really close friends. So it's not a mailing list of 300 people that get the magazine. And it's three dollars and fifteen cents per issue. Sometimes, depending on what specials they have going on, they will waive the setup fee. Otherwise, it's like a sixty dollars setup fee to get your photo into the system and all of your content into the system. And that's a one-time thing. So once you got the setup done, then you're good to go. Everything's online. They send you the calendar so you know when the issue deadlines are. Uh, but yeah, three dollars and fifteen cents per magazine every other month. Uh, which, if you're sending a newsletter, this might replace your newsletter and be the exact same cost. Yeah, and do it every other month instead of every month or something. Yeah, and then integrate your just listed, just sold postcards, and then you're just hitting people's mailboxes. We, we, we need stock in this company because we just really love this love magazine. It. It, yeah. And I know a lot of our agents have started using it. And yeah, I'm and the seeing, quality is just amazing. It's classy. And they do have a smaller version of the magazine. If 315 is just a little over your budget, the magazine is half the size. It's not quite as thick a paper, not as high a quality, but it does go out once a month. Um, and it's a little less expensive. They do have recipe cards and they have calendars. I don't know how many people use wall calendars anymore, but it is realtor branded. Um, they're very pretty. So if you're a calendar person, they have calendars as well. Questions? So let's see, questions. Um, Katie, who do you like for photography? We got a ton of photography companies on the vendor page. Yeah. Um, Troy has several photographers that he uses that he can help set this all up and make this like seamless for you. Yeah, it's kind of cool because he, you go on and pick the time of the photographer and then when the photographer's done, he sends you the pictures and Troy the pictures, which t then triggers Troy to do his marketing. His photographers are good. I wouldn't say that- Virtuance is the best. best. Yeah, I wouldn't say his photographers are the best in the industry. Virtuance still is hands down probably the number one high yeah. def quality yeah. but we do use tro i mean it's systematic yeah and i just I, I i've just been hearing too much lately people not doing the just listed and the solds and things like that because it goes so quickly and they're busy and you're just missing out on building a business yeah okay you're just doing the if you're just taking a listing, getting it sold, and then wondering where the next transaction is coming from, that's because you're not taking the time to put a system together of how do I leverage what I just did. And getting a listing, there is nothing better to show success than somebody has hired you. And because we all know that when we get a buyer, we're like, they, you don't have to pay me. But, but a listing, I sat down, I told you I want a 6% commission or whatever the commission rate is, and it's a 800, that's a $56,000. Somehow you have sat down, shown your value, the value of the industry and all that good stuff, and they're going to write you a check at closing-ish. That's a huge success. That's a huge win, and you should be putting 
leverage against that by just listed, just sold, showing your expertise. Yeah, and then one other thing, um, and we'll do some more questions. On these magazines, occasionally I will feature a listing in here. Yeah. So whether I do it on the back page and move my mortgage out to the inside or I do it on the front page, some people open magazines from the back. I read so from the back. I usually will put my listing promotion. Maybe I have a $1.5 million house or even an $800,000 house, or maybe I have four new listings that are coming on and I do a four spot. And that's part of my marketing presentation is I will feature you in my home by design magazine until your home sells. And this goes out to this many people and has this wide of a footprint. Um, so that's another cool marketing piece to do too. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what about targeting streets with mailer owners? So that's kind of a, a farm. We'll actually talk about farms. We'll talk about farms. I think that's a good topic. But the short answer is not the first thing I would be doing. Yeah. It's just, you're one of. 50,000 agents that sends out postcards and mailers and football yeah. thing, and you're just, you get that in the mail when you live in a neighborhood and you guys all get them. You probably get and you're five. Like, Who is this agent? I've never seen a sign up. But if you have listings and you put up open house signs, and please make sure your open house signs have, have your, your name, name on it. <laughs> yeah. You've got seven open house signs out there or 10 open house signs and they all have your name on it and they're driving by and go, oh my gosh, she's killing it. And then they get something in the mail. They're like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. But yeah, amazing. if your open house sign just says equity and doesn't have your name, they can't tie. They're You're not gonna remember out. the logo or the company name, but you can get the stickers or the even magnets that you can put on put the on. signs. But if your name's never, nowhere in the neighborhood and I'm not driving past your name and it just comes in the mail, you're just another person. Yeah. You might get lucky. You, my old saying is everything works, nothing doesn't. So if you got nothing else to do, no other money to spend, no other thing in your in the world to do. Sure. You'll, sure. Every once in a while hit on something. But, but it's, it's not, like a 3% That's not return. The, the main priority. But Lots of I do have things. some really awesome tips on farming and how it does actually yes. work because people have built a very successful business on farming, but there are like very strategic ways to do it. So a separate two, or Monday talk will be perfect for that. And we will circle back on that. Yeah. And we do have examples of these, samples of these in the office. Yeah. Please don't take them. Paul will say, <laughs> don't take it <laughs> because we want people to see them and you'll... Be able to see some of the ideas that we've come up with to customize them and steal our ideas, please. Yeah, at one point yeah. we did a whole class on home by design and we shared a link to a Google Drive with every single template I've ever created for these magazines with Paul and just said, hey, take these ideas and run with them. They're PDF forms, so you couldn't really manipulate them, but it at, at least, least give you a starting you. point. So, yeah, go in, look at those magazines, um, but leave them behind for your fellow equity agents to, to also be able to get ideas from as well. Uh, love it, Crystal. Yep. Leave these at tables and stands at businesses. Yeah. Uh, another story we'll tell us another day, but we definitely do that and have gotten a lot of business by leaving these at obviously places where business say, yeah, you bet you can leave it. Your dentist or for us, a tire shop that we left them at. Um, so yeah. lots of good business that way. Uh, Irene, yeah, great feedback. Uh, Dominic, uh, took your advice, been sending it for a year, great marketing investment. I continue to get compliments about the quality content, help land some new buyers. Yeah. Good. Hey, thank you for letting us know that it's working for you. What source are you procuring these through? Love the idea. So yeah, hopefully you got that, Tara. Now it's Homes by Design and it's on the vendor page. Yep, and then I'll add our um, contract on the in the comment, comment section, section after the live feed. Crystal, yep, Sphere loves it. What are your thoughts on sending monthly postcards to Sphere of Influence from Send Station or Boomerang? We did Boomerang for a long time, and I loved Boomerang. I thought it was great. But I think branding myself as a realtor that sells real estate that's successful in the industry helped me establish um, a higher level clientele and a more depth of clientele than just sending a free pizza coupon or $5 off to the Children's Museum. That didn't brand me for real estate. It branded me as a fun person that came up with a cool idea using a boomerang product. But I wanted to be branded as the market expert. And by customizing, I, I can't stress that enough. I mean, yes, this is pretty and it's nice, but the value is that you can customize two pages and, and make sure that you have real thoughts. estate stuff in there. Yeah, I do market stats in these all the time. And you know, they're 30 day 
data difference between the time I put the article out and the actual delivery to the mailboxes, but people want to know what's going on. And so market statistics are a great way to customize this and show your expertise. We did a whole series of neighborhood spotlight. So we spotlighted 55 plus neighborhoods. We spotlighted neighborhoods in Denver. We spotlighted uh, just Highlands Ranch and all the different types of amenities and yeah. subdivisions. So by being a customized a couple pages in there, you can really show that you're a professional and knowledgeable in your marketplace. And that you work a variety of areas and a variety of products, whether it's land, condos, single family, multifamily, um, you're able to, sh sh to show that. So I won't say Sendations or Boomerang isn't a good tool. It just is a tool that we tried and we found that this worked better. And the longevity. Yeah. This sits on people's tables and desks for a very, very, it sits on our ours. We have them around the house. Yeah, so. I have every single copy yeah. because I think I might go back and use one of those recipes again. <laughs> so yeah, it's got, got a great shelf life. We even did uh, a couple times, we did our favorite vendors. We did uh, just one page at one time with our favorite vendors. We did not charge them to be in the magazine. Nope. And then we got such great feedback from our clients that we made it a two page, just you no, know, once a year, a two page, our top vendors. And literally we saw it torn out and on one of our clients' refrigerator because they wanted to know, I mean, everything, not just real estate specific, but you know, plumbers, electricians, handymen, everything. Yeah, yard care people, tree trimming people. The other thing that you can do is you can get what are called overruns and you can order them in boxes of 10. So if you want just extra magazines, which I always do, because then I gave them to my vendors and had my vendors give them out to their friends and family because they were featured in it and they thought that was cool. And then that's what you can also then take to the tire store, your dentist or your massage therapist and leave those out. Um, and then they don't have the little mailing information on the back. They're just extra magazines that you can then pass out to people or give to your new buyers. Yeah. Crystal, Stacy, that's a good question for you. Ah, do you use a specific monthly market update or year to date? So um, in the first quarter, I do a recap or a review of the previous year, and then I do quarterly updates. So at the end of the quarter, I'll feature what happened in the first three months of the year, what happened in the second half of the year. And I use the RE Colorado data, or I use the DMAR market trends um, statistic report. And then I give credit to them because they're the ones that generated it. And then I give my opinion on what I think the forecast is going to be. And that takes me time because I have to research and I have to develop an opinion. But I think it's my opinion that matters the most to my clients. They can read the data anywhere online. But what's the interpretation of the data? And that's the power. So, yeah, it's not an instant. Here it is. Send it. Anything worthwhile, it's going to take a little bit of time. And you want to put your thought and feel of who you are into it and that's where the return is going to be the magazine is not the return it's your input into it and customizing it is where the return is yeah. and then if you like to make phone calls to your clients which you all should do into your sphere it gives you a reason to call hey i just sent out this magazine wanted to make sure you got it i just made the dessert recipe out of there and it was so good and i know you love tiramisu and that's what's featured it gives you something to talk about the other thing that i do is i take a picture um, of the magazine and the inside uh, pages that i've customized and i post it on my facebook and my social media hey magazine just hit your inboxes um, yeah. mailboxes if you aren't on my mailing list and would like to be please direct message me and so then I can create, um, you know, additions to my sphere through posting it on social media. So that's a kind of, kind of a fun marketing tip. And then they also send out weekly real estate articles to your email, Home by Design does, that you can link into your social media. So it's not something you have to um, create or customize, but you just cut and paste and then it kind of ties all your marketing pieces together. So that's cool too. So D, I'll just... Remind people oh. that the vendor page that is created by you guys. So when you guys go onto Facebook, onto our group here where you're at right now, and say, "Does anyone know a?" and Structural we get all engineer. these responses, we add your guys's input to the vendor list. The vendor list can be found. Click on up top on Facebook in our group files. Mm -hmm. Look at the drop down, and you're going to see vendor list. I don't know how big it is now, 10 pages. It's, it's bigger than 10 pages. Yeah, it's a, an amazing 
collection of your guys' favorite whatever. Yeah, so you may have 10 photographers on there and 20 home inspectors on there, and we've only taken your guys' recommendations, which we feel you have vetted them, therefore they're legitimate people to advertise. If one of your guys retires or closes or moves, let us know so we can take them off the vendor list, but we try to keep it up to date as much as we can. Yeah, no, it's great. Um, like I said, we feel like we repeat ourselves, but we bring so many new people into the company. Yeah. And then people aren't listening. So, no, I'm glad you brought it up again, yeah. Dee. That, yeah, that tool is amazing. And so, it's a great files, one. vendor list, it's huge. Obviously, then Stacy and I took our favorite and put it into the magazine. But even sending out the vendor list, if you read, read the paragraph that we've put together at the very top of the vendor page, that pretty much says these are the best highly recommended vendors that not paid. our agents have used vetted they are not paid to be here because i've worked for companies to be there. Yeah, yeah. i've worked for companies where they put the you know list together the preferred preferred vendors well they because pay they pay 150 bucks to be spotlighted yeah. were they really the best vendors no they're the ones who are willing to pay to be on the list our concierge program is you guys selected who we like and when you say you know what i used so and so from the the list and he wasn't good delete him off. we can just delete he didn't pay to be there he doesn't even know they're on there so yeah yeah this is your list that you guys have helped and then us compile d it gives you a good opportunity to go through and maybe set up a coffee or set up a lunch with some of these different vendors so that you can find out how they work and maybe find a, a group of people that you know, you can you can collaborate with and make your own list, not of 20 inspectors, but maybe your top two favorites that yeah. you recommend out to your clients. Um, but yeah, a good way to develop relationships. Wow, we've gone like over. Way over time, <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you tell that I am passionate about we these little this. things? These little things will make your career, Yes. period. Will make your career. Do not let a good listing go unmarketed to your sphere of influence, to the neighbors, because things are moving quickly. You are missing the boat. Go get these customized, go get your samples made up, call Troy, go online, whatever you have to do, just get this done so that you don't have to think about it when you're in the heat of the battle. I got the listing, I got 20 offers, and I never got around to doing the, the business building part. Yeah. All right, so. guys, you're armed and dangerous. Have a great week. Sorry with this. Thanks for over. waiting. <laughs> Our 45 minute talk. We just love this kind yeah. of stuff. So yeah. It works. Awesome. All right. Have a great week. See ya. All right. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Um, yeah. No Monday talk next week or the following week, but we'll be right back on um, third, second week of April. Third week of April. We'll see you in three weeks. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.